For this demonstration, we'll look at one of the App Scope reports. We'll go to Monitor, App Scope, and then Threat Monitor. The Threat Monitor report shows threats detected by the firewall within a specific time period. The report is useful for seeing the threats that the firewall has detected and either logged or logged and blocked, depending on your firewall's configuration. Which type of threats to display and which time period is configurable by you? First, let's set the time period for this report. Notice that we have several time period samples, last six hours, last 12 hours, last 24 hours, last seven days, and last 30 days. We'll choose last seven days. Notice that the display changes and we now see all of the threats detected by the firewall during the last seven days. We can also choose whether to display the top 10 or top 25 threats by using the menu up here. We'll choose top 25. Notice that we can also click threat to filter the display by choosing to display specific threats or just threat categories or the source address of the threat or the source user of the threat or the destination address of the threat or the destination user of the threat. But right now we'll just leave a uh, threat listed. Although if we wanted to, we could uh, select source address and notice the display updates. And these are the IP addresses that have sent us threats. Uh, sometimes like flood and reconnaissance scan threats will show up as 0000 as the source because the firewall hasn't really established a session before it drops all the packets associated with the scan. Or we could say, well, which uh, users have been the source of threats in our environments? And so if we have enabled user ID, we could look at various users. So here's a user called lab user. It's the only user that's been detected in our environment as sending threats. Or what's the destination IP address? Who's preceding these threats? And so here we see a number of IP addresses that have uh, been the recipient of threats in our environment. Um, let's just go back and leave threat, which shows a specific threat information uh, selected for now. We can also filter the display to show all types of threats. So for instance, we can say show us all threat types, or we could filter to say, just show me my viruses, just show me my spyware threats, just show me my software vulnerability threats, or just show me threats associated with file blocking or data filtering. Notice we can also export this report out to a PNG file. If I do that, it's just going to open up a second tab, a second browser tab, and in this second browser tab up here, show me my report. Let me go ahead and close that tab. If I do an, uh, a, P, a PDF uh, export, it's similar, except that now it's going to actually download a PDF to the local system. You can see it's been downloaded down here. And then if I want to, I can still open it and it'll open it up in a separate tab. So here's the report as a PDF. Uh, let me scroll to the second page and you can see the actual report here as well. Let me go ahead and close that tab also. If we hover our mouse pointer over a section of a bar on the chart, we'll get more specific information about that particular section of the bar chart. So here, for example, is uh, the total number of TCP flood events I've had has been 1,131 out of a total of 1,685 total threats. Um, out of that, you know, 1,600 total threats, about, uh, what, 420 of them have been uh, session limit threats where we've gone over the allowable number of sessions supported by the firewall and so forth. We can keep looking at all the other events as well. Uh, if we click a bar on the chart, so let me click this, uh, well, let's just do session limit bar. Notice what it does is it automatically takes us then over to the ACC tab, to the threat activity tab on the ACC tab, and it has filtered this particular widget, in this case, the threat activity widget, by our session limit event. Notice we have a global filter over here that was automatically added when we click the bar on the bar chart. 
Um, if I want to, I can then go back to my uh, app scope report. Go back to the last seven days. And there's my report once again. Um, this concludes this short demonstration of the App Scope Threat Monitor report.